I'm Andrew Hill with Sage at Work. I'd like to talk with you about behavioral insights today and why your behaviors can make such a difference in how you operate your business or tend to your career. First and foremost, what we need to take a look at is what the human being is comprised of. And a human being is a multi-dimensional organism, but we have certain areas that we can assess and use in order to develop the human being. First, first thing in our inner core, we are emotional. We are emotional creatures. And so, if I look inside, we have an emotional base to all that we do. Some people demonstrate that and show that more than other people. And that's one thing a disc can, can demonstrate. But this emotional piece can also be assessed. And we do EQ assessments and I'm particularly fond of the ones uh, through TTI, the EQ2, which is very valuable to help a leader or an employee know exactly how they're driven by their emotions and what they can do to become aware and regulate and motivate themselves around that. Uh, however, that's not your behavior set, that's the inner core. The second piece, though, that builds on top of this, are attitudes, or values. Values are considered the hidden motivators. So this is what makes us tick. This is what drives us as human beings. We can measure your attitudes and values and see that you're in the right position, that you find yourself in alignment with the right uh, things that you value um, in your workplace um, and thus bring, you, bring out the best in you. The last piece is behaviors, is which I, I really want to talk about today. And we use the DISC assessment. So on this outer layer, a DISC assessment is going to measure and, and show you what's going on from inside. It's how, you, how other people see you, how they perceive you. Um, it's how you communicate. It's how you are motivated in an outward kind of way. Um, it may even have to do with uh, your communication style and how you handle pressure and stress. These are all things that can be measured through it. But the important piece is that we're driven by our emotions. They make us move. They, they, they give us motion. Through our values and demonstrated out through our behaviors, which is what everybody sees in you. You know, what I like about the DISC assessment is it was discovered in 444 BC by a guy named Empodocles. And later on, um, in, in 400 BC, uh, Hippocrates actually used it and described human beings as having four basic characteristics to them. The DISC assessment measures four components of human behavior. The first is dominance. Dominance is how you respond to problems and, uh, problems and challenges. And in particular, it will show itself as being very results or action oriented in, in an individual. The second thing we measure is the I for influencing. How you influence others to your point of view. The third component is steadiness. And steadiness measures how you respond to the pace of your environment. Okay. And the last piece is compliance, how you respond to rules and procedures set by others. So each of these has its own nature to it, and everyone varies in the balance of these. Um, no one scores high on all of them or low on all of them. There's, there's a spread, and we usually have one dominant style that determines how you are perceived by other people and how you conduct your outer life. What I'd like to do on a, in the next video is explain in more detail how you can use this to your advantage.